trying to figure out how to get a handle on professional s and without it making me completely crazy is a little overwhelming. I wanted to forge into new uncharted territory, but I thought I needed somebody to guide me. I thought I needed a mentor. So I called up Diane Marie and said, would you please meet me and talk to me about how to find a mentor in this business? She agreed. She said she'd meet me at the Mercury Cafe in Denver. It was late at night. She came in, and I was reading a book on cancer therapy. She gave me this big, warm hug. Girl, you look like the world is wearing you out. Then she gave me another hug, saw what I was reading, and asked, who's dying? My husband. He has colon cancer, and he won't admit he's dying. He was really sick for over a month before the doctors even found anything. He's 44 years old. I told him he was constipated and crazy. They kept sending him home, but it didn't make him better. He can't hold food down. And he gets skinnier every single day. I love him. I don't want him to die. He won't even admit he is. Every time I try and talk to him about death and what he believes, he just screams at me, I'm not dying! And that's the end of it. I can't ask him what he wants when he's gone. Because he's planning on living longer than me. <laughs> I'm freaking out. God, I'm freaking out. <laughs> she held me as I sobbed on her designer clothing. She told me about her mom, who was also dying of cancer. <sighs> then, then she changed the topic to hookers on roller skates. <laughs> she told me about her clients, the time she spent in Boston. And the more she talked, the more excited she got. And the more excited she got, the more excited I got. This woman, who's been working as a dominatrix longer than I've been alive, is still excited about this business. Huh, there's something good here. I can tell. She told me about her husband and her wife. But really? You've got one of each? Wait, 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 wait. You can have one of each? How incredible is that? I've realized if you're not gonna follow the rules that society sets down for you in the first place, huh? Yeah, totally make them up. <laughs> and that's what she was doing. She was making up rules for her own sexuality and having a blast doing it. As I sit there, sat there talking to her, I got this burst of creative energy. And it was in me. I didn't feel it all the time until I got to California because I went home and my husband was dying and I was overwhelmed by that. 